everyone, Ms. Koza here. Happy Friday. Um, so I have not, I'm not going to be able to do office hours today. Um, so I thought I'd record something for you. So this is my um, plan for every day's at Zoom and lunch with Ms. Koza. So 1230s, I'll sign on. You can join whenever you feel like it or watch later. Um, and I we have a few different things to just check in with people, see how people are doing. Um, and then I have a book I'm going to read. So just to find, well, have different stories or something just to, you know, talk about something a little bit different than watching a YouTube video, you know, kind of feel like you're reading, sort of. Um, and then I have some other just like activities, brain teaser types of things. You know, I love kitty things. I bet some of you are missing the toys in my office. I miss them too. I should go get them. <laughs> um, but I have a book of riddles and whodunit mysteries. So just to um, keep your brains going a little bit, get you to think in a different way. Um, and doesn't it feel like I'm in school? Don't you love this background? Um, my body's kind of invisible right now, but um, hopefully it feels a little bit like home. So today's book I have is. Oh, look at this cover. My, my Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. So I just felt like it's pretty fitting for this time. And um, Dr. Seuss is just classic. So here we go. My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow. Some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. A bright blue, on bright blue days, I flap my wings. On some days, of course, I feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Then comes a yellow day, and wee! I'm a busy, buzzy bee. This is hard to see. Gray day. Everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. And all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But when my days are happy, pink. It's great to jump and just not think. Then come my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. Then comes a mixed up day and wham, I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see, and I go back to being me. And so let me know in what color you're feeling lately. So, um, or if you feel differently about these colors, um, or just kind of all feeling all sorts of different emotions that we never really expected right now. So, um, however you're feeling, it's okay. So, um, hope you're connecting with someone, connect with me, your teachers, your family, your classmates, um, and just talking about this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now, riddles. So you'll have to send me a message, comment below if you can figure out um, what these are before I do. So I'm gonna still tell you what the answer is. So uh, I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, let's find a random one. 
What kind of dog likes to hang around scientists? What kind of dog likes to hang around scientists? A laboratory retriever. Lab, lab, uh, funny, yeah. Um, what kind of geese come from Portugal? Hmm? Come on, you got it. This is not too hard. Portuguese. Portuguese. Ha, ha, ha. That was a really stupid one. Okay, we'll do one more. Why did the boxer hit the grandfather clock? Boxer. Because the clock struck first. Like when the clock strikes one, the grandfather clock chimes. You know, or like it got punched. Pretty good. Use those on your dad tonight and see what he thinks. They're good dad jokes. All right, so now I have this book of whodunit mysteries. These are so random. They're just like random like scenarios. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but um, like true crime and all these like criminal minds types of shows are like very popular now. So for those of you who are binge watching um, all that kind of stuff on Netflix, you might be pretty good at these. So let me know what your hypotheses are about um, one of these mysteries. So these are a little bit longer, so I'll just do one a day. Okay, this one is called Tied Up at the Moment. Okay, you've got to follow along, pay attention to these details, see if you can figure out. Be the mind of a de detective, okay? Jonathan Abelcor was talking to Officer Pacha. These names are very punny. Um, when J.L. Quicksolve, doctor, sorry, Dr. J.L. Quicksolve arrived. Jonathan was the butler for the Ducats. When Mr. and Mrs. Ducat are in Europe on holiday, he was explaining, I've been watching the house. I went out about two hours ago and came back, sorry, I went out about two hours ago to get a few groceries for myself. When I got back, I had just reached the door when a man came out of the shadows with a gun. He was tall and thin. I noticed he held the gun in his left hand. I think it was a 38. He forced me to let him into the house. He brought me into the den and tied me up. I heard him ransacking the house for almost half an hour. He must have been loading up the Duckett's car because I heard him go come I heard him go out and come in several times. Finally, I heard the door lock and struggled to get untied, but I couldn't. I was able to get off the, the gag off my mouth and yell out the window. A fellow walking by heard me and ran in here and untied me. My word, I was glad to see him. As soon as I was untied, I got to the phone and called the police. Did you know the man who untied you? Dr. Quicksolve asked. No, I've never seen him before. And he left when he saw I was all right, Jonathan answered. I'm afraid you've tied yourself up in lies, Mr. Abelcor, Dr. Quicksolve said. Why does Dr. Quicksolve think Jonathan is lying? Hmm, think about this. Did he? He does not think that this actually happened, that somehow this house got ransacked and he had called the police for some other situation. Okay, you have a hypothesis? How did he figure it out? 328, we're gonna find out. You ready? Pause it, pause it if you're not ready. And then continue playing it when you think you're ready to see if you're right, okay? Okay. All right, so the solution is, Jonathan said the robber locked the door, yet a stranger walking by was able to just run into the house. So he said that someone just ran into the house, set him free, and left automatically. But before he had said that, that robber had locked the house. Something fishy going on there. Hmm, maybe he's the one who stole everything from these fancy people. <laughs> so 
So it's kind of fun. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Tune in next week. So I'm on every day at 1230. Um, or I'll keep recording these, start recording them and post them for you guys to watch later. So talk to you soon. Stay safe.